Okay, we go. Hey, sir, sorry for the delay. So you're going to a hotel in Bala? Yeah, I know the place. It's lucky for you, Bala has only one hotel still working. Where are you? My passenger, driving him to the hotel mm -hmm. in town. You come from the airport? Yes, sir, the airport. Uh, gentlemen, you are posted here all day. On my way back, I grab some cold beer. You drink beer? Yep, beer. We drink beer. Hurry up then, move along. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll see you soon, sir. 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 Oh, no offense. But, you know, these militia, they come into our country, steal everything, and they leave us nothing. Hey, who's in 
cab drivers. You don't look so good. You tired? Target's presence in the state continues to be a stabilizing influence. He's largely responsible for the recent influx of weapons into the country and clear violation of the Joint Signatory Framework. His reputation as a dangerous arms dealer is well deserved. Orders are to terminate. Well, that didn't work out the way they planned. I'm still breathing and you're the one with malaria. You can tell them you tried, but that means fuck all, doesn't it? You're fired. You know it, so do I. You had your shot, but now it's over. And since men like you only work for money, you're no longer my problem. You'll have to find something else to do with yourself now. What your old clients don't seem to understand is that they can't kill me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Nobody kills me. Nobody. I'm the one who decides who lives and who dies. Me. You know, there's a book I read a long time ago. I still think about it every day. It helps me understand life out here. The book talks about men and what motivates them. It's simple, really. A living being seeks above all else to discharge its strength. Life itself is will to power. Nothing else matters. So long. <laughs> <laughs> 